Hey guys, Barry Aquatics here, coming at you with a, another 40 gallon breeder reef update. This time I have finished my Euro bracing and I've also installed my overflow box. Not a times update on, but I've been kind of taking it a little bit slow because I just bought a truck, so funds are kind of going towards that at the moment. Uh, but I did want to kind of show you some pictures on how I actually drilled it. Everyone knows how to drill a tank, but I just want to show you guys the pictures right here. And I also completed the Euro brace. Uh, this is the first time I've actually done a full Euro brace on a tank. It wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be um, originally. It turned out kind of easy. It's just a little, little um, pain in the butt. You have to get everything pretty precise, all the measurements, especially to get the glass cut the correct size. There were a few instances the the glass shop actually um, messed up just a little bit, like by fractions of an inch. So I had to kind of adjust to that, fill in some gaps of silicone. One of them was too tight. It actually chipped the glass. Um, so I really wish they, um, I would have checked when I was picking up the glass that the measurements were actually really precise because we're dealing with, you know, fractions of an inch here to fill up with silicone. Overall, I think it, I think it turned out pretty good. I do need to still clean up a little bit of silicone residue on it, however, and the overflow box from glassholes.com actually fits in perfectly with the Euro bracing. And I actually, uh, measured it pretty precisely. So that way, my water level is as high as to the top as I can get it without it worrying about it overflowing. Um, so I'm going to do a test fill um, later on this week with just some tap water and see what's going on. Maybe put a few pumps in there and see how it goes. The overflow box was super easy to install. All it is is just one big bulkhead, a few gaskets. You just do it hand tight. They recommend just doing it hand tight, but I did a, just a fraction of a turn um, with a wrench just to be sure to make a watertight seal. I also painted the back with some Krylon Fusion matte black. I always do black tanks. I've tried blue tanks. I've tried um, no paint at all. I just think the black looks the best, especially with the fish I plan on getting. But I'm definitely going with a more colorful fish instead of like the uh, the black clowns or something like that that would just blend into the background. So I'm going to be um, work starting work on the sump pretty soon. I will show you guys a picture of uh, the first time I've used the CAD. It's actually a Google SketchUp basic CAD design. So I'm going to be featuring a few filter socks, a skimmer, a few reactors, and just a return pump. And then I'm going to be starting work on that probably next week. So I'll, I'll def definitely keep you guys up to date. This is just going to be a short little video because I, I haven't made a ton of progress on the tank. Uh, like I said, it's kind of in uh, idle mode at the moment. But I will be uh, working on the sum very shortly. So that's about it as far as the content goes. Just wanted to keep you guys up to date. Everything's going very well. I'm not gone. I haven't quit on it yet. I will be keeping you guys, giving you guys more updates as time comes. One other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is, um, like I mentioned, I just purchased uh, another truck. It is an 86 K5 Blazer, and I has my actually my second K5 Blazer. I have an 88 as well. Um, I was wondering if you guys would like to see some videos on the build of that as well. I got it stock. I have a bunch of parts for my other Blazer that I'm gonna be putting it on. There, I'm also basically doing a build on the truck as well as the tank. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments below. And I'll do um, a few videos on my progress with the truck. So let me know. Uh, thank you guys for watching this pretty short update. And I will catch you guys.